Okay, you know, a lot of people ask me time flies and such. I'm going to tie yourselves a fly we call a fatty long tail. We've developed this in Oklahoma over the years and tell you what, man, it works. First thing I like to do is start with just a little bit of thread. I like to use orange so the fish can see it a little bit better. So, just a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to scare them fish away. I mean, you got to have the right proportions. All right, we got it all threaded up. Now we're going to throw on a tail on this one. Now I'm going to tie this one here in uh, green drake colors. Because that's what's hatching right now in January. And you don't want to put too much of this tail up on the body of the right here. You want to have it really long. It's going to help it float and such. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to make us a body. Now I got some special dubbing I got from my dog Cooter Bob. He's a good old hound dog. We're just going to use a little bit of dubbing. Proportion is key. Like my wife Sharon Jean. She is perfectly proportioned. So as you can see, we got just the right amount of dubbing on there. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, now you can see the perfect drape mayfly. Now as you can see this tail right here, man, it, it is not long enough. I'm going to back up on my dubbing. And I want to put in a couple of eagle biots. One about like that. See what's going to happen? That fish is going to think that it's uh, trying to swim in away with his big old long tail right here. There we are. Where'd my good scissors go? Now, the reason I use these scissors, they'll cut right through anything. You see, I can get right down in there. Snip. And uh, obviously, we went up through dubbing right there, so we're going to cover it right back up. A little bit more W. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's looking good right there. Look at that. Look at that perfect mayfly profile right there. Now I got a feather from a bird that you all have never seen. It's called a gold-crested, silver-breasted. Uh, what you call? What do you call that? It's a, oh yeah, the silver parakeet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just. Uh, Snip it up a little bit to break up the evenness. You don't want it to look too even. I'm just going to tie it in about like that. There you go. Tie it in real good and tight. See, that's a good profile for them drakes. Uh, and then I'm going to come up here and get right in there and nip them off. Cutco. They're expensive, but they're worth it. Then, uh, important here part is you know them fish are going to look at them wings and you know if they're not split just right they ain't going to eat it so we'll pull them apart come in here figure eight them looking real nice there we go now just look at that I mean tell me that's not going to we could fish it right now and it would catch fish. Okay, now we got a premium dry fly saddle right here. Just cut that up a little bit, tie it in, and we're going to wrap up through that wing nice and proportionate. It's okay if some of the wing gets up in the front there. Yeah, okay. So, just get in there real tight. Trim that off. Pull all your feathers back. And we have the fatty long tail. Now you can tie this in any of the trout catching varieties. Now, 
whip finishers don't ever work neither. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whip, whip finish it with head cement. It's my my wife's fingernail paint. So you just get it all up in there. Make sure that you get it nice and glued in. You don't want a fly that's going to fall apart. And so. There we go. We're getting her now. So we have an in, in, indestructible fly that will work on any trout stream. We're going to give this one the Uncle Ken guarantee. It will catch fish on any river, on any lake, at any time. 